Well, Justin Waynes is back. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Y'all don't remember the dating coach that got caught allegedly paying women to date him? Y'all serious? I roll a clip. This is Justin Wayne, one of the most popular so-called seduction artists on YouTube. He's the one who invited us to watch how he does it. Wait, what? He invited y'all? Guess that was a bad decision. But anyways, what's going on guys? My name is Mr. Confident and I help shy guys get good with talking to females. Today, we're going to be talking about Justin Wayne. Is he real or is he fake? And we're starting right now. Rim low on my fitted, drinks has always been vivid. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to go get it, catch me right around and I'm ignorant, I'm just rolling. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justin here, and I want to talk to you about a really important question that a lot of guys have been asking me. Justin, are you fake, right? Did you ever fake an infield video, okay? The answer to that question is no. <laughs> you serious? I thought he was lying, but then I realized I had to check my biases at the door. The only reason why I thought he was lying initially was because of how he talks but he doesn't have the same swag as I do. Justin kind of reminds me of the guys from Malibu Most Wanted. Find your core character, Sean. You are an oppressed black man from the ghetto. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding this one, man. Hey, think Tupac. And this is nothing against him, but the way he normally talks is the way that I talk at work. Hey, how you doing? My name is Mr. Confidence. That, to me, was a big red flag initially. But realizing that I have friends that don't talk like me that also have game. So I had to pull it back and do some more research. The only way to get good at game, really good at game, is to be able to game those maybe to know girls, the girls that, that, that don't really see that they're that into you. <laughs> but one thing YouTube hasn't addressed is the host of explicit videos on the site. Created by self-styled dating coaches who promise to teach men how to manipulate women into sex, even if they say no. I, right, Justin and Vice, y'all both went too far. Justin, put a shirt on. Vice, why you try to make his video sound rapey? Like, yeah, he did go a little too far. We both know there are two types of no a female say. There's the hard no, and there's the no. And he's trying to turn the no's into the yeah. Like, that, that was it. And I still don't know if he's real or fake, so let's continue. So you got this table, and it says, out of seven approaches, you took four girls home. Now, when it comes to game, each coach, we all think we have the best game. But approaching seven girls and sleeping with four, to me, that sounds too good to be true. But then I realized that it said that you took the four girls home, but it doesn't say anything happened after. And then in one of the comments or something over there, it says that, for you to have fun with them for the following month. So I'm just gonna assume you're gonna date these girls. So I guess that's not a red flag either. So let's continue. Most of the time, you're just not probably trying to touch the girls early enough. That's number one. And by not touching her or trying to touch her, you know, it's easier to get friend zone at that point. That's true. You don't wanna wait too long to break the touch barrier. So what I tell guys is, in the first few seconds, get that out the way. Like if she reaches to give you a handshake, you just say, oh, I'm a hugger, and you give her a hug. Touch barrier broken. According to his website, Wayne's weekend boot camps cost $999. He brought along a Russian woman named Jenny. She also appears in Wayne's YouTube videos, initially as one of his targets, but now he claims she's one of his girlfriends. So the order to touch is basically, look, you can start with, for example, like high five hand stuff, and you can go here, right, the elbow, this way. Then you can go shoulder, and at this point is when you can probably go closer. Then you can do like probably nose to nose, mouth to mouth, boobs, and it goes down, right? And what the f are you talking about? What are you talking about? Elbows, forehead, I have no idea what he's talking about. And look at her body language. She looks really uncomfortable with him touching her. Something is off in this scene. Let's rewind that. Point is when you can probably go closer. Two things I noticed from that clip. One, I'm not charging enough. And two, 
she just looks really uncomfortable like she's being paid to do this number two there's no evidence of me ever like hiring girls to be in an infield pickup video you're kidding right see that woman standing next to him that's another one of wayne's supposed girlfriends introduced to us as kelly from finland before leaving for the beach we'd put a mic on wayne and we're rolling when he got into an argument with kelly he threatened not to pay her if she did not cooperate. Underneath one kind of apparent exploitation, we found another. Where was the first exploitation? Him trying to teach men how to talk to females? Come on, Vice. Let's just get it over, because I'm only here for the money. I'm not going to want to pay if you're going to embarrass me on camera. I can do anything I want. I have to remember, I'm always going to have more weapons and stuff like that. So just don't mess with me, please, okay? I'm willing to use it all. I'm crazy like that. I've always been crazy. That's why I put girls online and for years and no one does anything to me. Listen to me. If you don't trust me, listen. Listen to me. No, I'm not threatening your life. Bro, you can't convince me that that girl is here just because she likes you when she just said that she's only here for the money. Hey, Justin, I saw you were arguing with a girl on camera and you guys argued about money. Is that evidence that you paid her to pretend to be your girlfriend and to actually get a real tattoo? Because again, there's needles going in. A real tattoo, do you pay her to pretend to be that? The answer again is no. So we didn't hear her say, Let, Let's just get this shit over me because I'm only here for the money. No. Okay. And how do you explain this? I heard you say that you wouldn't pay her if she didn't do the interview and make you look good. Oh yeah, I told her to do the interview well, or else I'm not going to be there for her in general. Yeah, I don't think so. Hold on, it's can, just can I, can coincidence? I, can, I, yeah, can I get some water? Oh, he no. needs some milk! I prefer just to talk to you about like my teachings. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to create yeah. anything where it's like too much about like fishness, about me like really mistreating people. Four days after our interview, nice Wayne meeting. took down all nice his YouTube videos. Um, but now he's back with an explanation. It's not much value for a pretty enough girl who can get other guys and have other situations, can get money in multiple different ways to do a public stunt like that. So no, all the girls that tattooed my name, they tattooed my name because they were really in love with me. We had real relationships, still have real relationships with some of these girls. Even the same girl that people claimed was a paid actress, she's in my life all the time. Bro, if you still providing for her, why wouldn't she be still in your life? It's not like these girls are famous. They don't have a reputation to uphold, so they could be getting money from working with you. Comment down below if you agree or disagree. Actually emotional girl that has like, you know, she just, that's the way she deals with things in general. And that was one disadvantage with our relationship. So if you notice like in a lot of the videos, like uh, the first video I actually showcased with her and the other girl called Mary Jane, I mean, she was the instigator. She started instigating on Mary Jane, telling her, oh, he loves me more and all this stuff. And because of that, there was a problem. So she always instigates problems. I'm confused. If she's still a problem, why didn't you just replace her? It's not like you can't go to the mall and meet seven girls and then take four home. You know, again, my first girlfriend I showcased was Elaine. She's a beautiful American girl in a crime, and we still are connected up to today, okay? And this was in 2012. She got the tattoo. Right now, she's still in my life. Today, we get along very well, as you can see. So, like, it's just funny. And, of course, some people might ask if I have a baby with her. I'm not going to comment on that right now. Well, we just got our answer. That's a yes. In my situation, there was no issue. Basically, all I did, my lawyer told me to remove my channel and, and just, you know, stay within the spotlight, let people do, let people say what they want. And that's all I did. Actually was celibate for a while. I just refused to have sex with any of my girls to focus on myself during the fasting stages and even after, just so that way I can get pure and kind of re rewire my mind to appreciate women more and appreciate their presence. Because believe it or not, like while everyone was like trying to say I'm fake and like, oh, I'm a virgin or whatever, like my real problem was sex addiction because I had so much of these girls so loyal to me and so much girls in my life always, constantly, that I became very numb to sex. I couldn't really enjoy sex as much anymore. I just felt very tired and just, and also my diet, I was just out, my whole health was a mess and I was just a, a, a emotional, I was just emotionally like tired and just burned out and I didn't appreciate anything anymore. Here's a poll. I want you guys to decide. Do you think he's real or he's fake? Because honestly, my opinion is, I think some of the stuff he does is real. Like he does have some game, he has to, to get people to spend thousands of dollars on him. But I think he pays his females to make his results seem a hundred times better than the other dating coaches. 
So that's all I got for you guys. If you're still here, you rocking with me. Hit the like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm out. I expect you to like. I, expect you to like. I mean, what is there not to like?